Oh God. Madam, Madam President, I don't know how to say this. What is it? So throughout human history, it has been universally accepted that the number pi is 3.14159265 and so on and so forth. It turns out there are three scientists in Moscow that recently discovered that the number pi is actually 3.14159264. And? Well, Madam President, the number pi is in all aspects of life. If this is true, then all of our measurements throughout human history have been off. For instance, the United States will run out of fresh drinking water in just 20 years. Okay, Tobin, that sounds pretty serious. But by then I won't be president, so anything else? Well, it also means that the Earth is warming quicker than we initially thought. Which means that the Greenland ice sheet is going to melt in just three years' time. Which means that Miami's going to be underwater in two. Okay, so that sounds really bad. Can you go give a call to Mark at the Office of Global Change and tell him I need to speak with him immediately? Yes, madam. But before I go, I think it's important to go over the rest of the contents in this email. If, if Pi is, in fact, 3.14159264, well, that means that we never landed on the moon. How is it possible there's pictures of it? It gets worse. Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't exist. Is this a joke? I am the walrus. Worst of all, Madam President, is that you aren't the first female president. How is that possible? It turns out that Grover Cleveland was also a female. Being the first female president was going to be my legacy, though. Not anymore. Because if Pi is in fact 3.14159264, well then that means that I am now president. <laughs> Tobin, there was a rounding error in the report that I sent you. Pi is not 3.14159264. Pi is in fact 3.14159265, like it has always been. Thank God, that was, that was close. Yeah, almost got me there. 